I get sad, I get anxious, I get worried, I ruminate, I have difficulty sleeping, I get irritable, I snap at people I love, um, I, I'm afraid of failing, afraid of succeeding, uh, I get overwhelmed, sometimes I wonder what to do with all these ideas that I have and like how they're going to be executed. I think the only difference between me and people who stay stuck is I never give up. I don't even know how to give up. I will fall down. That's just a fact of life. But I always give back up. Hey, welcome to Spirit Soul Sense, information for your soul. I am Charisse and I have my card for today. I just picked it out. <laughs> Whenever we're afraid, isn't it fitting? Whenever we're afraid, it's because we don't know enough. If we understood enough, we would never be afraid. Earl Nightingale. Uh, fitting because, you know, I've, I, as the new year started, I started feeling overwhelmed uh, and also started feeling like I don't know if I can accomplish the things I want to accomplish. Um, I was communicating this to some people and you know, my mother is always been my go-to person. So she knows me so well that when I'm feeling these ways, she's not surprised at it. It's like, um, not a prequel, but like a calm or anxiousness before like the big, the big bang of whatever else I'm looking to create or do. I, I get nervous before I do big things. How about that? Uh, but I was telling someone recently that, you know, man, I'm just like, like doubting myself. I've got this imposter syndrome that I, you know, I'm not used to having, uh, but it's coming now. And it's because I'm doing new things and I don't have all the information, so I'm scared. Um, and the response was like, you know, sort of like what people tell you when you go on stage, no one knows you're nervous. Like we can't see it on the outside. Uh, I, I am aware that I am cool, calm, and collected. I am proud of my ability to give an aura of peace and calm, um, wisdom. I'm very proud of that. I, I'm still human. Though. <laughs> I'm still human. And, and even though I understand that people can't see what's going on inside of me, the, the turmoil, uh, it's still happening. And so I, I really, really wanted to make a very transparent video about these things happen and they happen to everyone. Everyone has times in their life when they doubt themselves or they're unsure. Anybody who says that they don't have moments like these are not telling the whole truth. So my moments don't last very long, right? This is third week of, are we in the third week of 20? Yeah, 21st. Third week of January. And I would say, you know, from right after New Year's hit, and I'm like, whew, New Year, wonderful things, new goals. Uh, let me write out some things. I started feeling like, whew, these are, these are big. These are things that I can't do by myself. I'm going to need people. I'm going to need help. It's going to take coordination. Uh, and I, I started feeling like, all these things have to get done. All these things have to get done. Uh, but they don't have to get done tomorrow. And I, I have plenty of time to work them out. So the feeling of being overwhelmed, I, I think is natural. Depending on what you do in life, how much you do, you're at some point, I think, going to get overwhelmed. The response to getting overwhelmed is what's most important. I did a live on Instagram with Hyacinth Henderson. Uh, check the description box. I want you all to follow her Instagram page. We do lives every Tuesday, not every Tuesday, most Tuesdays, like three Tuesdays on, one Tuesday off. And our last one, you can go back and watch. We talked about feelings of being overwhelmed and how to manage feelings of being overwhelmed. So in, in my life, one of the most important things is my mother, right? When I'm feeling overwhelmed or anxious or confused, she is the first person I call. I just started seeing a new therapist because there are certain things you just need a therapist for. I started seeing a new therapist two sessions in. It's feeling good. I'm getting like new direction, new insights and seeing a therapist and being able to share um, even more or, you know, the, ref the reflecting back of what a therapist does is different than what families do. So it's also like a breath of fresh air 
in a way, like a, a, a lighter load. I'm like releasing the need to produce incessantly right now. It's just January. It's just January. Um, and really tapping into all the things that I've done in the past that has helped me feel calmer, right? So that's the one of the last videos I did was about um, my gratitude nighttime practice because staying grounded and centered and in presence, uh, in, in deep gratitude for the wonderful, wonderful way my life is right now. Like my life is really so good. Uh, and I think it's easy to lose sight of how wonderful things are in your life in the moment when someone like me is, is so focused on all the things that I want to accomplish. I have accomplished so much and so it's also helpful to reflect on all the wonderful things that I'm doing. So right, so I talk to my mother, I talk to my therapist, I do gratitude. Uh, I'm just getting back into meditation. I do my quiet time usually in the morning uh, with God because you know, meditation is God talking to us, prayer is us talking to God. And then also making, you know, those additional steps of working out. <laughs> It's also winter and winter is also a time to slow down. And so I, I have to re respect that in my body when my body wants to slow down and not do um, morning runs when it's like 30 degrees. I hate the cold. I hate the cold. So I'm not going to. But you know, I like have all the things. I have all the things to do what I need to do. But it's, it's, it's just winter. It's winter. And I am counting down until spring hits because the botanical gardens will see me my park is gonna see me my runs are gonna be on on and popping i'm about to get it uh but you know like everyone else i feel all the things i feel all the feelings um i get frustrated things don't work out you know i've, I've probably heard no more not no but wanting certain things to work out that didn't Right? That's, a, that's like a no. Rejection is God's redirection. I have a video titled just that. And I literally go to that video when I am feeling like, God damn, what you mean no? Like, what you mean no? It's, it's a perfect reminder, getting back to baseline, like, no, 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 no. My life is divinely ordered. I can accomplish everything that I want. Right? I just have to go about it in a certain way, plan, put the right support around me, and remember who I am. Remember who I am, because that uh, you know, and I think it's it's so easy when we stand outside ourselves or we look at someone else and the way that they're living their life, and we think, "No, you got this, you got this, you you been got it, right?" Um, but sometimes when we're living in our own body, it's difficult to feel the confidence of getting it. And so, all the things I practice, all the things, and then remember, wait, I'm Charisse. No way, I'm doing this, this, that. I, and I have a good heart. Like, I'm really here to serve, to help, to give. Kindness? No, wait. Oh, it's, it's only goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life. That's, and that helps me get back to, I'm not pretending. Um, I do deserve, I am worth all the wonderful things that I'm planning for my life. And so that's what I'll leave you with. You are worth, you deserve, and you can get all the wonderful things in your life. Let me know what you think in the comments. Remember to like, share, subscribe, and thank you for watching.